Welcome to 7 Trumpets Prepper, and in this video today, we're going to be demonstrating a great product produced by Laserlight. In this demonstration today, I'm going to be showing you one mounted to my AR-15 carbine. So let's take a look at it now. Okay guys, today we're going to go over the Kryptonite Carbine Green Laser. This is made by Laserlight. Uh, the model number is K15. Keep in mind this is made in the USA. Uh, excellent product, Class 3 laser. Um, the body on this is a very nice quality made aluminum. It's 6061 T6 aluminum, so very good quality. We're going to cut this open, and I'm going to show you the components. Then I'm going to mount it on my AR-15 made by DPMS. We're going to take it on the range here behind me, and we're going to put it to work. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to mount this up on this upper rail. Um, you know, most people put some optics or something like that. I'm an open sight shooter. So I'm going to mount this on top uh, to assist my open sights. Uh, this is great for especially if you're doing home defense and say a burglar broke in the middle of the night and you needed to really point a target out real quickly. It's especially useful for people that like to shoot open sights. Uh, it's one thing I like about that. Now um, for this demonstration, I'm not going to be using the pressure pad because uh, I'm going to try to get comfortable with this later and kind of figure out where I'd like to configure it. Uh, probably down on the side right there above my trigger. Um, we'll work that in later. But it does come with a pressure switch, the attachment uh, tape, uh, which is also Velcro, so you know you can remove it uh, to adjust it. A small adjustment wrench and a large adjustment wrench. So now what I'm going to do is slide this up on the rail. Get this into place here. We're going to take and untighten these two screws and then I'm gonna slide that back and then we'll move to the next step okay now that we've tightened this up and uh, got this into place we're now going to step onto the range and shoot I want to make one more note you can just lightly uh, untighten the screws depending on your Picatinny rails and just drop it onto the side and then tighten it down you don't have to untighten the screws all the way to slide it back so I'll, just one last note here if you want to put in the pressure switch uh, you know, as I said earlier, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how to adjust mine where I want it. Um, you know, I haven't really figured out where I want that yet. But whenever you do, that's all that's necessary is to mount your tape, put your pressure switch on, you're good to go. Uh, for the moment, for this demonstration, we're gonna turn this on right here, and we'll step out there. Uh, your adjustment for up and down is right here. Your left to right adjustment is on the side. So we're gonna step out here, shoot a few rounds and see the adjustments we need to make and then we'll go back at it again. Now remember whenever you're on a firearms range to always have the proper safety equipment, your ear protection and eye protection. Make sure to keep your firearm in a safe direction. With that said, chamber around. Now I'm going to turn the laser on. There we can see it on the center. Take our first shot. Okay, now we're up and to the left just a little bit, so I'm going to adjust that and come back and fire some rounds again. Okay, we had made one adjustment, and I came back and shot one round, and I made one minor adjustment, so here we go. Okay, we're almost dead center. I believe one more adjustment's going to get it for us. Okay, and this should be our final attempt and get it right on it. So guys, I'm going to make a few more adjustments with this and continue to tweak that until I get right in on the X. I'm almost in the box right now. I'm going to go back and reload, but this is a great piece of equipment um, for those that want an extra additional sight that's on their firearm in case they need it. I would highly recommend this piece of equipment. So I hope you've enjoyed this review of this gear, and until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.